Hello everyone, how are you today? And welcome to school year 2020-2021. Okay, what is puberty? Puberty is the time when a boy or a girl becomes sexually mature. It is a process that usually um, uh, usually happens between ages 10 and 14 for the girls and ages 12 and 16 for boys. So, in this time, you begin to feel the changes of your voice sa mga lalaki. And for the girls, developed breast and started on their periods. So, my question is, what is the connection of this to our lesson? So, our lesson for today is about beauty care and nail care services. So, sa panahon ng puberty period, you will start to feel uh, maula or mahihiya. You feel un uncomfortable. You, yung bang you smell bad. And then, pag nakita mo yung clothes mo na ano, may dumi, parang nahihiya ka. So, Gusto mong maligo everyday. Gusto mong mabango ang hininga mo. Ganon ba? Totoo ba yun? <laughs> but sometimes, sometimes sa kakalintaan natin, linisin ng ating mga kuko. Am I right? Okay. So, this lesson might as well help you to clean your nails and your feet also. So, when you clean your nails, your hand and your feet, you need some necessary materials, tools, and equipment. But, do you know what are the difference between materials, between tools, and equipment? So, class, lend me your ears and please be attentive on this lesson. Okay, so it is said that beauty, so pag malinis ka, you feel so beautiful. So, maibibigay ako sa, na, uh, sa inyo pala na uh, quotes. Beauty begins when you decide to be yourself. Okay, so we'll continue. So our lesson for today is about beauty care and what is the main topic of about? So lesson one, use of nail care tools and equipment. Lesson two, maintain tools and equipment. Lesson three, practice occupational health and safe procedure. Lesson 4, practice basic nail design. So, what are, what are our objective for this lesson? Number 1 is to identify tools and equipment according to task requirement. Another one, you have to familiarize with the tools and equipment listed and presented to the class. Another one, another objective, so we, you have to differentiate the tools and equipment based on its definition and function. And the last one is you can name the different tools and equipment needed in performing nail care services. Next, nail care tools and equipment. So, nail care tools. Tools are the articles used in any nail care services which are 
take note, durable or permanent and handheld. So those are also referred uh, to as implement. Okay, so take note about the tools. So yung keyword is handheld. So durable and permanent. Next. So these are the tools. Callus remover. So the callus remover is a tool designed to strip off calluses and corns. Yung sa paa natin, yung may, yung may mga calluses natin at saka corns. It, yung callus remover, yun ang dapat natin gamitin para matanggal yun. The second one is the cuticle nail pusher. So this is a nail, uh, I mean a tool used to push back and loosen cuticles. Ito yung ginagamit natin para yung mga cuticles ay matatanggal. Next tool, the cuticle nipper. It is an implement used to cut the cuticles. And please, uh, okay yung ma malito about the cuticle nipper and the cut uh, what is that? Yung the other one. And yung isa, implement to Ano ba yun? Siguro, mabalik pa natin. Ay, hindi na. Sige. Pa Padayon ta. Okay. So, the other one is the cuticle scissor. It is an implement used for stubborn cuticle. Para matanggal yung iba pang hindi natatanggal sa cuticle nipper, matatanggal sa cuticle scissor. Pero mostly, no, yung ginagamit natin is cuticle nipper. Parang, ano tayo, mas gusto natin yung cuticle nipper. Pero yung iba naman, gusto namin yung sa cuticle scissor. We have the finger or manicure bowl. It is a small bowl used for soaking the fingers to soften the cuticles. Diba, kailangan natin, before natin tanggalin yung mga cuticles natin, ito talaga ang ginagamit natin. Pero, yung san nasanayan natin, nilalagyan lang natin ng, ano ba yan? Ano bang tawag doon? Um, cuticle remover something like that pero actually yung totoo ganyan, may ilalagay tayo i-dip natin yung finger dyan for 3 to 5 minutes para uh, mag, ano, lumambot yung ano natin, cuticle and then next is foot file so saan ito gagamitin so it's made of metal or sandpaper with a rough file on the other side to remove calluses and a fine file on the other to smoothen the feet. Pag wala ka namang mga calluses or mga baga kayo na ang magtawag yung something dyan sa sa paa mo so yung ano na lang yung gamitin mo. Fine na side sa foot file para makasmooth sa feet. Pero pag yung yung fit mo naman i eh, ano ma ano man tawag siyan baga kayo kag mga calluses so kana siya ang rough file ang imong gikinahanglan foot spa basin is a large rectangular container used for bathing and soaking the feet when giving a pedicure Dito sa school, meron tayo niyan. Pero, pag nandyan lang tayo sa bahay, pwede na rin na yung langgana na maliit ang gagamitin natin. But, be sure na pag isisok mo yung paa mo, uh, lagyan mo ng maligamgam na tubig. Mas masarap yun kesa yung ano lang, malamig na tubig. Mas, mas, mas maganda yung maligamgam. So, dyan may ilagay yung paa mo sa maligamgam na tubig. And the other one is manicure tray. It is a flat container where all the necessary tools and implements are placed for one uh, for use by the manicurist. Pero sa atin, meron naman tayong ibang lalagyan. Pwede na namang hindi manicure tray. Basta may malalagyan lang tayo na yung open tsaka yun bang uh, pagkuha natin ng ating mga implements or mga tools. Madali lang, hindi yung nasa bag, tapos sinahalungkat pa natin ang tagal, di ba? Okay, next. Manicure nail brush. Kailangan kilala ninyo ito. It's a plastic handled brush with 
nylon bristles used to clean dirt and cosmetic residue from the nail surface and skin. Mixing bowl. So, kining mixing bowl, um, mangyayari lang na magamit natin ito pag mag-foot spa tayo, foot spa. Okay. So, because it is a toast, so, i-discuss na natin. So, mixing bowl is a small open top rounded cup like container used for mixing the aromatic oils and other fluids for the hands or foot spa. And it's belong to tools, not belong to materials. Nail buffer is an implement used for smoothening and polishing the nails. Mas maganda pag meron kayong ganitong nail buffer. Pero pag wala naman, it's okay. Another one, nail cutter, nail clipper, nail trimmer. So, ang ibang tawag sa nail cutter is nail clipper, nail trimmer. So, it is a hand tool made for metal used to trim fingers and two nails. Next is nail file is an implement used to shape the free edges of the nail with a curved side and the curved side and bevel the nail with a finer side. So, yung bevel, siguro alam nyo naman yung mga meaning ng bevel na yan, diba? Nang lesson natin noon pa. Anyways, another one is orange wood stick is an implement with pointed and rounded ends to remove excess polish. So, yung sa ano, yung experience ko sa mga student ko noon, yung bumili daw sila dun sa tindahan uh, orange wood stick, hindi daw nila kilala, yung mga tindira dun, hindi nila alam yung orange wood stick. So, kasi hindi naman masyadong ginagamit ng mga manicurista ang orange wood stick. So, diba, gamit na gamit, uh, ano, I mean, malaking gamit talaga itong orange wood stick para mag-remove sa mga excess polish. Ang galing nito. Next. Uh, pedicure nail brush is a tool used to remove cosmetics and cleanse nails. Pedicure, so, pedicure and manicure is ano, magkaiba. Manicure para yun sa kamay and the pedicure is para yun sa paa, ay, sa feet. Plastic container for cotton is a small receptacle where cotton balls are put. So, dyan natin nilalagay yung mga cotton balls natin para hindi nang, ano, yun bang parang malinis talaga yung dating ng ating uh, mga gamit, diba? Kesa, hugot ka na ng hugot yun sa mga cotton, at ketsan saan pa nilalagay. Next. Pumice stone. So, it is a type of volcanic rock, which is actually uh, lava solid solidified to form a porous rock to remove dry and annoying skin of the feet as well as the calluses. So, pwede rin itong gamitin aside sa callus remover, yung pumice stone. Next is Supply tree. Supply tray. Tree. It's a flat... Okay, sorry for that. It's a flat container that holds the necessary cosmetics and implements. Sa so, nakikita ninyo, so dito ilalagay yung mga uh, nail polish at saka yung iba pang kagamitan para hindi, as I have told you before, yung bang sige lang mong pangita diya sa inyong bag no, sa mga gamit. Next, truly is a wheel cart that is pushed by hand and used for transporting manicure and pedicuring tools and materials. O diba? Pero hindi naman natin kailangan to sa mga beauty salons or sa mga salons lang ito na nagagamit. Pero pag sa atin, hindi na to. Pero at least, alam nyo na isa ito sa mga tools. But, not yet. We have another one. So, that's the end of the 
tools. And what are the nail care materials? So materials are cosmetics and supplies that are consumed and should be replaced from time to time. So they are also called consumables. When we say consumables, what is that? So, naubos. So, meaning, hindi tumatagal. Mga ilang araw lang, nauubos na. Yan ang tinatawag na materials. So, ito, alcohol, is an organic compound used as sanitizer. Anti antiseptic solution is an agent that reduces or prevents the multiplication of microorganism. Saan ba ito gagamitin? Gagamitin ito sa pag-clean ng area mo, sa pag-clean ng mga tools mo. Hin uh, take note to that. Kung meron kayo mga parents, auntie or whatever na nagmamanicure, so sabihin nyo, before sila magmanicure ng ibang tao, lalong-lalong lalo na ngayon sa pandemic, kailangan, they have to clean first all the tools bago nila gamitin sa ibang tao. Diba? Kasi, just because of that, mga viruses and all the bacteria na namamalagi dun sa uh, mga tools natin. Yung mga antiseptic solution at saka yung alcohol ay kailangan-kailangan talaga natin para malinis yung mga gamit natin. Next, apron is outer protective garment that covers primarily the front of the body to protect clothes from dirt or stain. Diba? Sometimes yung minsan natapon yung cuticle natin, cuticle remover, or yung yung iba pang gamit, nakaka-stain yun sa ating gamit. So, kailangan natin ng protective garment na apron. So, another one is the assorted colored nail polish. is a Lacquer applied on a fingernails and toenails to decorate or protect the nail plate. Okay. So, yung mga ganun na uubos, di ba? Meron akong mga ganyan. Uh, ganito. Nabibili ko pala ito sa Watson's, Watson's Pharmacy. Maganda ito, nandiyan na lahat yung mga kailangan mo. Kailangan mong mabibili. Pero, ito ay hindi to ano, nail polish. Ano lang ito? Um, base coat. And quick dry and top coat. Okay. So, proceed. Okay, as I have told you, I have told you that base coat. So, base coat is a clear layer of polish applied to the nail plate. Before, take note, it is before, not after. Before the application of the colored polish, the smoothen surface for color and promote healthier nails. O, di ba, naka-experience kayo ng ano, yung nails yung nagka-crack? O, Kasi, dire-diretso na yung nail polish dito. Wala, hindi pa niya nilagyan ng base coat. Yung base coat, malaking tulong talaga yung base coat sa koko natin. Na iyan talaga ay nagpapa-healthy sa ating koko. Hindi yan kung ano-ano lang. Pero, medyo may, kaha may kamahalan po ito. Pe pero kung kailangan mo talagang, you have to take good care of your nails, then why not invest on this base coat? Base coat, ano ba talaga? Okay. Benzyl conium chloride is a yellow white powder prepared in a aqua ano to? aqueous solution used as surface disinfectant and topical antiseptic. Yung karamihan sa atin pag ano pagkatapos ng maklin yung mga cuticles natin, nilalagyan natin ng benzyl conium chloride, di ba? Diyan sa ating san ba? Diyan diyan diyan. Di ba? Yung karamihan, al may allergy sila. O, kaya, yung iba, ayaw lang mag, uh, maglagay ng ganito. Benzyl conium chloride. So, ano nga palang ibang term ng benzyl conium chloride? Okay. So, next. Bleaching soap. Bakit nasali ang bleaching soap dito? 
So, bleaching soap is also materials. Kasi gumagamitin tayo ng bleaching soap pag mag, ano tayo, ah, uh, foots pa. Yes. Kaya nabilong siya, kaya nabilong siya dito sa uh, materials. Kasi nauubos din naman ito, di ba? So, bleaching, bleaching, bleaching soap is a soap formulated to whiten the skin. Okay. So, cling wrap, ginagamit ito pag mag hands pa po tayo. Mm -mm. So, pag may hands pa tayo, pero sa yung iba dyan, pag wala namang ganito, cling wrap, meron sila yung bang, nakikita nyo ba yung sa ano, yung pag magluluto kayo, nilalagay yung sa, dito sa kamay para di mainitan yung kamay nyo pag magkuha kayo ng mainit na kalaha or whatever. Pwede yun, gamiton gamiton gamitin para sa ano para sa pag mag uh, hands pa po tayo pero wala pa naman tayong hands pa ngayon for at least alam nyo isa ito sa mga materials so it's a thin plastic film used for sealing the paraffin during a hands pa yes we have the cotton. It's a soft white downy fiber for daubing or cleaning the nails and removing nail polish. Cuticle oil is a mixture of fats and waxes containing lanolin and petroleum base to soften the lub to soften and lubricate the skin around the nails. Meron po tayong ganyan cuticle oil. Pag meron naman kayo, that's good. Critical remover. So, it's a liquid used to soften the nails, the nail critical, and prepare them to be cut. Mm -mm. Lysol. So, Lysol. Lysol. Pero ang Lysol is a disinfectant. So, disinfectant is an agent such as heat, radiation, or chemical that destroys that destroys, naturalizes, or prevent the growth of disease, disease carrying microorganism. Isa rin ito na, pag yung area mo, gusto mo maging clean, so ito yung Lysol ang gagamitin mo, or another disinfectant aside from Lysol. Next, we have emery board, is a wooden sandpaper-like stick, with a fine texture on the other side and a coarse texture on the other side just to gently green down the edges of your nails. So, kailangan din natin ng first aid kasi minsan pag nagkakat tayo ng kuko, yung mga client natin, client, kliyente, kliyente natin ay nasusugatan natin na hindi naman natin, ano, diba, Minsan natatako tayo. So, kailangan natin you have to bring this first aid kit. So, it is a collection of supplies for use in giving first aid. Next. Foot blush. So, it's a liquid spray that contains peppermint and alpha hydroxyl acid derived from fruits that whisk away dead dead skin cells deodorizes and soften the feet giving it pinkish glow and after use so ginagawa ito pag tap, pagkatapos ng ating foot spa para para siyang pinkish pinkish na parang paan ng uh, foot ng ano yung maliit na bata na nagpipink pinkish o diba ang ganda ng foot blush next is foot Sock is a is a herbal blend to relax, energize, soft, and deodorizes the feet. Pag meron naman kayo yan, it's okay. Much better. Foot scrub. Oh, is a mixture of natural ingredients to keep feet soft, smooth, and moisturized. 
garbage. Kailangan, kailangan natin ito. Dahil saan naman natin tatapon yung mga gar garbage natin pagkatapos mag-manicure, mag-pedicure, at mag-foot spa. So, garbage or garbage bins or bags or plastic disposable bags or trash receptacles used to contain rubbish to keep the place clean. Hand towel is an absorbent cloth for drying the hands. Kailangan din po natin yan. Lotion is any of the various cosmetic preparation that are applied to soften the skin. Manicure pillow. Kailangan, kailangan natin ito para hindi nangangawit yung kamay ng ating mga kliyente. So, manicure pillow is a hand cushion that helps a client a client sorry to keep her hands steady and relax hindi yung nangangawit na yung kamay ko uh, kurog na ba ang kamot sa yung kliyente di pwede na ha so nail hardener is a liquid applied to the nails to form a protective barriers to prevent uh, ano ba chipping splitting of nails so Dito mayroong nail hardener. Nail hardener. Ito meron. Para hindi magka-split ends yung ano natin. Yung kuko natin. Next. Nail polish remover. So, in other another word, acetone. It is an organic solvent used to dissolve old polish or nails. So, acetone, nail polish, remover, muna siya mga uh, kailangan natin para ma... Uh, tingnan ko, meron ba ka dito? Meron natin. Nail polish. Uh, okay, nail polish remover. I have here. Meron siya, nail polish remover. Ah, this one. Ay, this one pala. Nail polish remover, cuticle, and foot blush. Nabibili po ito sa ano, Watson store. Pero, may medyo may kamahalan. 100 plus ata. Pero kung gusto mo na, ang ganda kasi ng representation ng ano na to, product. Mayroon siyang ano, lalagyan. Pero kung ano naman, maraming, marami naman dyan tinda sa iba't ibang ano, store na mas mura pa. So, quick dry. Quick dry, minsan ginagamit ito pag yung kliyente mo ay nagmamadali. Gusto mo silang kagadagad na tutuyo yung nail polish nila. So, quick dry is a liquid is a liquid applied to colored nail polish to dry faster. Solvent is a substance used to thin out the nail polish when it is uh, when it has thickened. So, ginagamit ito pag medyo Ano, makapal yung paglagay mo sa mga nail polish. Next, two nail separator. So, it is a soft materials where toes are inserted to keep them apart. Prevent, na, to prevent, ano ba to? Uh, yung toenail from staining another two. Oo, para hindi na magkadikit-dikit, gaganituhin na lang natin. Ito yung uh, rule sa toenail separator. Next. Top coat is a clear nail polish applied to the nails after the colored polish to protect from scratches and chips. It makes nails harder and keep them looking shiny. Meron din ditong top coat ata. Ah. Uh, Thick, dry, base coat, and top coat. Ah, iba. Base coat lang ito. And then, quick dry ang nandito. Another one is towel. Um, Pabalik-balik lang si towel. It is an absorbent cloth for drying the hands and feet. Wet sanitizer is a substance or preparation for killing germs. Palagi yan, palagi yung pabalik-balik. Kailangan natin, you have to clean the area, we have to clean our toes, we have to clean our materials. Equipment. Okay, nandito na tayo sa equipment. 
Equipment eh, are the items which are more or less durable and permanent needed for a particular activity or purpose. Ma items less durable. So, ano ito? Ano, ano? Okay. Chairs are sets or back support which have four legs and some have rest on the arms. So, pag natagalan ito, di ba nasisira din ito? Futspa machine is an electronic gadget for uh, used for soaking, bathing, and massaging the feet during futspa. Next, so nakakita na ba kayo ng ganito, no? Pag hindi pa, uh, magla-live tayo. Or siguro talaga naman nakikita kayo nito. Okay, next. Foot spa stool is a simple set with three or four legs designed to provide comfort and elevation during a foot spa. Instead na yung iba yung lalagay dyan sa mga paa nila, yung mga pa paa ng kanilang kliyente, dito na sa uh, foot spa stool or ano, bangketo, bangketo, bangketo ang tawag nito. Next, handspa machine. Hindi pa tayo nakakagawa ng pag-handspa, pero ito yung handspa or marami pang ano, klase ng handspa machine. Hindi lang ganito. Marami pang ibang klase. So, handspa machine is an electronic gadget used to soft pain of arthritis, pag nag-arthritis na yung mama mo, pero mayroon pa, pa rin mga, mga teenager na batang-bata pa nag-arthritis na sila, di ba? So, muscle spasm and dry crack skin of the hands. Kailangan natin mag-hands pa. Kung nagkakaroon kayo ng mga ganitong mga ano, mga arthritis or muscle spasm, pwede na kayong mag-hands pa. Pero, yun nga, pupunta tayo sa beauty salon. Next, manicurist chairs or stool. And, manicure table. Ito yun sa mga beauty salon. Isa yan sa mga equipment. Another one is sterilizer. It's an equipment in a salon used for sterilizing metal implements to kill microorganism. Yung one time na pumunta ako sa ano sa salon beauty salon, mayroon silang ganito. Ang ganda. Oo, parang before na magamit gamitin para sa iyo, na sanitize sa yung lahat ng mga gamit. And there are no bacteria at all. So, di ba? So, timer. So, yung iba naggagamit sila ng timer para yung sa salon, pag maraming, ano, kailangan nilang timer ng ganitong oras, natapos ka na. Pero, in a very, ano, maganda yung uh, outcome na kailang work. Next. Okay, that's all. And, any question, please, ano, comment na lang down below para kung any question or meron kayong hindi pa naiintindihan, you hope to, you have to comment and, para malaman ko kung nakakaintindi din po ba kayo. So, that's all for today and thank you for listening and thank you for watching. And God bless you all.